Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing The Revenant. Uh, this is a mad dog hero coming with the Solaris pack and um, I think I actually like this one and um, some of you has have asked me what can I do with this without buying any, any more Omnipods. I just bought the Solaris pack and I want to know what build I can play and uh, I think this is actually Relatively good for beginners, for people who just bought a Solaris pack, who do not have that much money, who do not have that many Max and Omnipods to switch. And um, here is why. Now, we go for uh, four SRM6 Artemis as our main weapon. This is a short range burst build. Um, and we have four ER medium lasers on top of it for some early engagement, for mid range fighting. When the enemies are trying to, to evade you, or when it's a very early state of the game where there's a lot of poking and you still wait as a brawler so that the fight will already start, this is it. You have the four medium lasers. And the combination, plus the overabundance of heat sinks that we have, it's a relatively cold mag. It's relatively easy to manage the heat in this one, and therefore probably relatively good for newer players. So that's what I would advise you to take. Uh, we are running four and a half tons of ammo. Since the ammo revamp, I would say my rule of thumb is a bit broken. Usually I would take one ton per four tubes of missiles, short range missiles that is. So we have uh, 24 here, that makes uh, six tons of ammo. But uh, since we have more ammo per ton now, I think four and a half is just enough. And when you're running dry, you still have some medium lasers. I, I never, never ran dry in this build because again, the missiles come in relatively late because they're short range. You cannot shoot them early on. You will save a lot of your ammo into the late game and therefore you don't need that much. Anyhow, skill build looks like this. We have, as you can see, firepower left side, of course, because we wanted missile rack, we want missile spread and of course high explosive. On top of a bit of cooldown and of course the heat gen nodes here, it's a no-brainer. This is my, my more or less my standard missile brawler build here. On top of it, as I was saying, brawler means short range, means you will probably attract a lot of fire because you are on the front line and therefore we have maximum survivability. I think it's needed here and afterwards we go for operations because again heat management is really good at this. We have a lot of heat sinks and they benefit a lot from the cooldown nodes down here so it really helps dissipating your heat quickly after taking a little break uh, firing. After that our uh, radar deprivation, uh, not really after that but radar deprivation is relatively easy to get. We only invest nine points here and um, I really like this because the Revenant, the Revenant, if you run its stock Omnipod, you have a great mobility bonus. You have a turn rate bonus of 15% and acceleration and deceleration of 10%. So it's relatively nimble for a heavy mag. That means that if you are going in delivering some damage, you can get out as well as uh, as quickly as you get got in in, in in the first place. So getting that radar deprivation for hit and run is, uh, is probably nice to have. Why am I doing this all the time? I don't know. Um, and yeah, we have a consumable slot, it's just a value slot, a value point into that. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And as always, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold and we are playing Domination, which means that we can go to the circle and shoot everybody. So let's go ahead and shoot our missiles at 280 three meters, 283, let's keep that in mind. It's very important, sometimes I'm shooting my missiles mildly out of range because, be, be, because, um, yeah, no, um, I'm, I'm used to some missile quirks or something else. Anyhow, uh, there's a guy, there is a guy. Oh, sorry, Cicada. See what I mean? See what I mean? I had to take the shot though. So I was just too good to not take it. 300, uh, uh, ranged, I am in it. Let's go. So uh, I'm gonna push forward a bit, just a bit. I do not want to start a NASCAR here, but uh, I just want to get an angle on this guy because he is probably, most likely, oh, flee! Don't block me, please! Don't block me. Yeah, he, he's under pressure, and we need to we need to get some more pressure on him since it's a dire wolf, and we can easily take that kill. So why not? Okay, Ultra Twos. Actually, pretty scary. I really hope this is our strike. Yeah, it is. So. The fleas, the, the light max running around here, um, just blocking the movement of the big ones, trying to skirmish as well, is a problem. A very big one. I'm gonna bring up another UAV just to make sure that if ours is destroyed, like the, the one that we have already, that we still have one that can can give us some information. So Die Wolf down, we have a Warhammer that is down. Down I say, thank you. Let's take the top again. 
It's very important here. I'm gonna take the lead, uh, which is super scary. But instead of running around, we just we just go ahead and defend this spot. Right? Right. So, blood ass. What does he say? I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. Also, I more or less wasted my cool shot. Okay, we got this guy. Okay. It's a viper. I did not hit all of my uh, my missiles here, sadly. Um, and again, the light makes the light makes the skirmishes here, obstruct, obstructing the path of the bigger ones. Okay, let's uh, go for the mad. You can deal with the mad dog, right? Oh, I have my weapon groups not set up correctly. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's help out here. Nice. Something is wrong with my ah. I have one missile. Yeah, one missile is set up to my arm mounts. Okay, it's gonna be the kid fox. Let's get the arm and the side torso with it. Get the kill, and I think we are fine. It's seven and three at this point. Okay, managing the heat. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm oh wait, there's enemies on the right side. Actually, there are enemies everywhere. So let's uh, let's go ahead and kill them. I think we can afford shooting this guy with our lasers, and then we shoot this, and then we drop. And we are safe. So let me quickly quickly readjust my weapon group here. This five the missile down below. It didn't belong there. Uh wait, who's shooting me? In the back. Huh? Turn around. It's you! How dare you? Target acquired. Got that. Heat level critical. I got that. And then two more enemies. You can see the heat is really manageable. So if you take your time between the shots and you do not overextend, I mean, this is true for every build, probably, taking your time and managing your heat. But um, I really like the amount of heat sinks that we have. It's a really nice combination of um, um, being able to shoot the missiles and the energy weapons, and then at some point only go for the missile bursts and take the time when the, when the cooldown is ticking um, to not shoot and then cool down a bit. It's it's a nice balanced heat build and it's really good for me. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's have a look at the end score here. I was a bit messy, uh, just a bit. Now, two killing blows. We had three kills damage dealt. We have 714 damage with nine components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Not Collective and we are playing Capture the Resource Points. Conquest it's called, right? It's Conquest. <laughs> it is Conquest. Now, um, little, little heads up guys, I am not gonna be around for a while for streaming because I'm gonna go on vacation. I'm gonna take a few days off with my wife and uh, my son and my family and I'm, I will not be around for streaming on Twitch from July the 10th to July the 28th, so 18 days um, of no streaming. On the 29th, I'll be back and we do community drops as usual. So that, that is where my regular stream schedule will continue. And yeah, I will have your, your videos covered so the daily doses will flow and we have everything. I have everything pre-recorded already. Uh, actually, I'm actually pre-recording right now. So for you, it, it will be in the future and you will have the videos. That's just what I want to say. So looking forward to it, actually. I'm gonna, or we are going on a road trip. Why are you shooting? Ah, interesting. Interesting. Okay, yeah, a lot of people are in uh, Delta 4. Delta 4 is hot. Okay, we can only shoot our lasers here. Hoo <laughs> Annihilator. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. What about this? Look look at this. We have a Vindicator in our back. Let's punish him. Mr. Vindicator. Will you come out on the other side? Yeah, you will come over here. That was sneaky. Cheeky, sneaky. Vindicator. And one shot, and he's down. Okay. Now, I mean, my back armor is open. I was wondering if that was team damage or not, and then I'm like, ah, no. Enemies in our backs. Uh-oh, 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 let's pull back. No, not good, not good, not good. Also, UAV. Take that down real quick. Ah, uh, once more. It's important to have that down immediately, because this is our main fighting stage right now. Good. Okay, I'm a little bit under stress, as you might tell. You've got this covered? All right, I'm gonna reinforce here. What can we do? We are the enemies. On the left side, next to the locust. There is a flea. Shall we shall we go for the flea? We shall go for the flea. Um, hunchback, let me go for the flea, please. Oh, nice turnaround here. Okay, let's drop right in front of him. Pin him down. Should have destroyed his leg. Yeah. And we got him. Good! Now that's a dead flea. Uh, I think we keep the pressure up and go, go for the guys here. Nice kill there. Thank you very much, Chaotic Harmony. 
then helped me out big time. So, Heat Vision. The Urban Mech is hunting something. The Urban Mech has finished hunting. Urban Mech's bloodlust has been quenched. Alright. Um, mm hmm, mm hmm. Looking good. 8 and 2. Question is, where are the last enemies? I mean, that escalated pretty quickly. Uh, since the enemies were coming all from Charlie 4 here, Charlie 4 into Delta 4. And uh, I mean, we had that firing line set up for us. Uh, where is that thing? I cannot hit it. <laughs> as much as I want to, I cannot hit this. Uh, oh, that's a Viper. Trying to go directly for the center here. Actually, yeah. Uh, he's gonna disengage here because he will see that there is an assault mech. Hopefully, he's coming down to Delta 4 again so I, I can intercept him. Or maybe he's just fighting him. I mean, why not? Okay. The jump jets of the Viper are, of course, amazing. Is he engaging again? Interesting. Good job, man. I like that. That's that's good of you. Uh, shoot? Nah, out of range. <laughs> I think I was relatively good on, on the point with my aim, but he was out of range. And that's the drawback of the build, of course. Um, the main weapons, the SRMs, are short range. And if the enemy eludes you, if they if they just uh, try to get away from you, sometimes you <laughs> struggle getting behind them and uh, keep up the shooting. All right, that was a very quick one. We got two killing blows, six assists, three kill most damage dealt again, and 403 damage with six components destroyed. I think you can see the power of the build. The combination of burst and, and uh, medium lasers for early game poking um, is really nice. And as you can see, uh, in general, Everybody was extremely efficient when it comes to killing. So we had no no damage score greater than 400 something. So we have n nothing above 500 here. And that's crazy. I love the game. So that was The Revenant, everybody. The Revenant with SRM6s and medium lasers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow me on Twitch, do that as well. Link is down below in the description, as well as the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.